Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss remaining parts of instruments and measurements. Remaining parts of instruments and measurements. Here measurement of pressure. Measurement of pressure. Here in this uh, measurement of pressure, that is uh, in the measurement of the measurement of force or pressure can be converting the applied force or pressure into displacement by using any elastic element and then this displacement can be converted to electrical quantity by using secondary transducer which can be the electrical quantity which can be you can uh, easily measure it we can easily measure it okay it is very very simple for the measurement of pressure first of all the force or uh, pressure which is we have to measure is converted into displacement by using primary transducer the primary transducer is nothing but elastic element elastic element converts the elastic element converts force or pressure into displacement and that displacement can be easily converted to electrical uh, quantity by using secondary transducer. It, here uh, primary transducer is nothing but elastic element. Secondary transducer may be any uh, transducer that is uh, like uh, LVDT or strain gauge or ETC. or strain gauge or ADC okay for this measurement of pressure first of all the pressure or force uh, may be converted into displacement and the displacement can be converted into electrical quantity El the electrical quantity we can easily measure in this way we can uh, measure the pressure or force we can measure the pressure or force For measurement of pressure, secondary transducers may be potential potentiometer, strain gauge, LVDT, or piezoelectric ETC. Okay, you can use uh, any of the this transducer as a secondary transducer. Okay, next one flow measurement. <coughs> next one flow measurement. In this uh, flow measurement, there are mainly two types. Two, two meters are there. First one, not turbine flow meter devices and electromagnetic flow devices. Electromagnetic flow devices. In case of first one, turbine flow meter devices, it is most commonly used type of flow meter. The turbo flow meter is most commonly used type of flow meter. It operates on the principle of turbine flow mechanism. It operates on the principle of turbine flow mechanism. What is this turbine flow mechanism is uh, uh, whenever the water strikes the buckets of the turbine it is a feel it is a uh, turbine and it has uh, these are blades of the blades or buckets of the turbine whenever the water or any fluid any fluid or any flow uh, any fluid flow or uh, water flow strikes the bucket with uh, some force it will move in this way it will move in this way next one uh, after this it move when it moves to this side this bucket comes to here and whenever this uh, fluid flow strikes this bucket uh, and it will move and then it will uh, rotates likewise okay this uh, this is mechanism is called turbine flow mechanism whenever this turbine uh, rotates then it will uh, connect it to some external meters uh, through this through those meters uh, and calculations you can uh, uh, find the turbine uh, you can uh, find the flow of any fluid flow of any fluid okay and uh, uh, disadvantage of this turbine flow meter uh, it is very expensive because of uh, the construction of this turbine and with the blades it is very very a uh, lot of metals required and it is a moving part so maintaining of this moving part is difficult so it is very expensive and it is also limited to viscosity range viscosity means nothing but it is a property of fluid it is a property of fluid and it may chance to break it may chance to damage of turbine blades Tur these are called our turbine buckets or blades this may because of uh, whenever the fluid strikes this uh, blades it will it may chance to damage the 
blades and uh, uh, recalibration if it is a uh, it is a loose contacted or it is a, by striking of this fluid it may um, uh, the position of this blade may change so uh, we need to calibrate of blades is required frequently we frequently calibrate the blades of turbine these are the disadvantages of this turbine flow meter to overcome these disadvantages uh, the electromagnetic flow meters are developed electromagnetic flow meters are developed uh, this electromagnetic flow meters are operates uh, based on faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction we all know about uh, what is the faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction in previous classes and what are the advantages of this electromagnetic flow meters it has no moving parts here the uh, turbine uh, has moved uh, moving means here there is a friction losses there is a problem of friction here no moving parts means there is no cause of friction there is no cause of friction okay and it is insensitive to viscosity of fluid this electromagnetic flow meters insensitive to properties of the fluid insensitive to properties of the fluid that means uh, this uh, flow meters have independent of properties of fluid okay and good accuracy and reliable uh, and accuracy is very good and it is a reliable meter reliable flow meter and the response is very fast and it is independent of properties of fluid okay and it is uh, ideal for bi-directional measurement it is ideal for bi-directional measurement and it is well suited for slurry corrosive and uh, solid contaminated liquids useful uh, it is ideal for bi-directional measurement that means uh, whenever the fluid flow this way and also this way then you we can easily measured by using the electromagnetic field electromagnetic flow meters okay and next one displacement measurement we already explained in the measurement of pressure the secondary transducers uh, the primary transducer converts uh, pressure or force into displacement and the displacement can be converted into uh, electrical quantity by using secondary transducer the secondary transducer are nothing but potentiometer type uh, strain gauge type uh, and uh, lvdt type here also same for uh, linear displacement can be measured by a number of transducers such as uh, resistive potentiometers strain gauges lvdts and hall effect transducers or digital transducers the linear displacement this is the in this uh, uh, way it is a linear displacement in this way or this way rotational displacement it is a uh, in the circle manner this is a rotational it is linear okay the linear displacement may be uh, measured by number of transducers and we can use any transducer like uh, resistive potentiometer strain gauges lvdts hall effect transducers or digital transducers okay and the rotational displacement can be measured by rvdts rvdts here r means rotational Okay, rotational variable differential transformers and uh, reluctance transducers the reluctance transducers may be based on reluctance concept and synchros and capacitive transducers digital transducers edc okay and uh, strain measurement strain measurement already explained uh, the strain is uh, measured with the help of strain gauges strain gauges okay strain is measured with the help of strain gauges strain gauges use a circuit employing potentiometer called ballastic circuit or wheatstone bridge network it uses uh, ballastic circuit or wheatstone bridge network in case of ballastic circuit used for uh, dynamic strains measurement that is ballastic circuit is used for only dynamic strains measurement but not for static strains but uh, this uh, video this uh, wheatstone bridge network type circuits we can measure both dynamic and static strains we can measure both dynamic and static strains okay and the final one measurement of torque measurement of torque okay torque is nothing but force into angular velocity that is it is a torque is nothing but rotational force torque is nothing but rotational force okay the measurement of torque is mainly required in rotating machine in uh, measurement of torque is required in mainly rotating machine there are various electromechanical and electronic methods for torque measurement such as by strain gauges we can use by using strain gauges we can uh, measure torque 
such as strain gauges by inductive transducers and by electrotechnics and by electrotechnics transducers are also we can use by uh, for the measurement of torque for the measurement of torque okay and power control devices and circuits i already explained the power control devices and circuits in the electrical specialization part electrical specialization part they are nothing but power control devices nothing but uh, power diodes and uh, thyristors thyristors are power control devices okay okay friends thank you in the next video i will discuss uh, 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 remaining uh, parts okay remaining parts of instruments and measurements okay thank you